Novena Prayer to St. Vincent de Paul In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Opening Prayer God, our loving Father, we thank you for sending your beloved Son to the world so that we may have eternal life. As a community gathered in the name of Jesus our Saviour, we beseech you to accept the prayers that we place before you through St. Vincent de Paul, the heavenly patron of all charitable works. Grant us the grace to live according to the spirit of the saint who practiced your commandment, love one another as I have loved you. Make us grow in the virtues of simplicity, humility, meekness, mortification and zeal for the salvation of the souls as practiced by Saint Vincent. Help us to lead a life of love and compassion to the poor and an ardent desire for holiness. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, the Lord of all, forever. Amen. Psalm He who loves the brethren lives in the light from death he has entered life. He who hates his brother lives in darkness. In him there is no eternal life. He who does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. He who does good is God's own he who does evil has never seen God. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. My son, rob not the poor man of his livelihood. Force not the eyes of the needy to turn away. From the needy turn not your eyes. Give no man reason to curse you. Give a hearing to the poor man and return his greeting with courtesy. Be a father to orphans and be like a husband to their mother. You will then be like a son of the Most High, and he will love you more than does your mother. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Saint Vincent, our Father, and Heavenly Patron of all charitable works, we praise you. You are the Reformer of the clergy and the Merciful Father of the destitute and the suffering. You have never turned your eyes away from those who have taken recourse to your mediation. Hear our petitions. We request you to intercede for the poor, the destitute, the sick and the sinners. Inspire the rich to be magnanimous and the clergy to be zealous. Let there be peace among the nations through your mediation. Help us to imitate Christ more closely according to your example and to dedicate ourselves totally for the service of God and 
his people, and to make progress in the path of love and service. We, your children, request these graces from our Lord Jesus Christ through your powerful intercession. Amen. Let us now pray one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory Be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Day 7 For Peace and Prosperity in Our Nation Lord, You have said, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Give us the spirit of mortification so that we may constantly forsake the pleasures of the world and the desires of the body in a spirit of fasting, penance, and prayer and lead a holy life. Enable us to live with the conviction that our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Fill us with the virtue of mortification, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, so that we may conquer the evil inclinations of our bodies and not fall into the temptations of the world. Lord of all forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse 16 to 20. The Rejection of Jesus at Nazareth When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With faith and hope, let us offer our prayers through the intercession of Saint Vincent. The response shall be, Lord, hear our prayers. 
that we may deepen our faith in the Holy Eucharist and in the Word of God and may become more diligent in venerating our Blessed Mother and the Saints. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our families may be sanctified and peace, happiness and fear of God may increase among the members. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our parents, brothers, sisters, relatives and friends may find help in times of need. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who are afflicted by diseases and troubled by debts and other difficulties may find healing, consolation and the power to endure suffering. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers that the poor, the oppressed, and the broken-hearted may be consoled and be filled with hope. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Holy Father, the head of the Church, the bishops, priests, and the religious, and all ministers of charity, be filled with your love and seal. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That we may recognize your face in the poor and the needy and become more generous in sharing our resources, time and energy with them. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers that we may listen to your words. Faith without action is dead and be your witnesses by works of mercy. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Holy Church may be blessed with priests, religious and lay ministers shining as lighthouses of love for God and fellow beings and simplicity of life. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the souls of the departed faithful be granted the joy of the vision of your holy countenance. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In silence, let us offer our personal intentions to the Lord. Offering Lord God, you have said, Call to me and I will answer you. We thank you for mercifully accepting our prayers and for all your blessings. We submit our prayers and aspirations to your divine will, O Lord, who knows our heart's desires. Accept our petitions through the powerful intercession of Saint Vincent de Paul. Lord of all forever. Amen.